Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card video. In this video, I'm showing you how to create a few spooktacular Halloween cards using die cuts and distress inks. I'm using Pink and Main's Witch Brew Stamp and Coordinating Dies, along with distress inks in the colors Black Soot, Seedless Preserves, Peacock Feathers, Picked Raspberry, Spiced Marmalade, and Shabby Shutters. I'll be die cutting five each of the cat and bats from the Witch Brew Coordinating Dies using black cardstock. I'm using inexpensive Canson watercolor paper for the ink blending. All the products are linked below and you can find them listed in my blog post as well. To get started, we need to cut our paper according to the height of our cards. My cards are four and a half inches wide by four and a quarter inches high and four and a half inches wide by four and three quarter inches high. So I'm starting with four and three quarter inch high pieces of watercolor paper. So let's get inky. A few things I want to point out while we are getting started with the Seedless Preserves ink. The top and bottom will be the darkest areas. We want to be sure to keep a light blend across the middle of the paper. We don't want to be too fussy about how it looks at this point because we'll be going back over to blend it together. Our main goal right now is to cover the paper with the ink and remembering to keep the middle lighter than the top and bottom. The paper should be covered with ink at this point and we can see how the middle is lighter. Now I am going to darken up the top and bottom using the black soot ink. On the top I'll lay down a larger area of ink than on the bottom and I want to go heavy to light with the black ink to make blending easier. So I'm starting with a heavy pressure and gradually lightening the pressure as I work towards the center of the paper. I want to cover about one third of the top of the paper, being sure to lighten the pressure so we are laying less ink down as we move toward the center. Now using the Seedless Preserves ink, smooth out the blend between the two inks. For me, I find going back and forth in a straight motion helps me blend the colors much easier, but you use the method that works best for you. We'll do that same process of adding the black soot ink to the bottom of the paper, but we only want to cover the smallest bit of paper here and remember to start with heavy pressure and lighten the pressure as we move toward the middle. You can see we only add just the smallest bit of ink and now we're going to blend it out with the seedless preserves just like we did on the top. At this point we can smooth out the blend in the center and move on to the other colors. Now we die cut the bats and cats using black cardstock. So we have our ink blended backgrounds and the die cut pieces ready. I just need to decide the width to cut the ink blended paper. So I'm using repositionable adhesive to add one cat to the edge of the watercolor paper. And then I'm going to trim this down using my paper trimmer. Now you can use this piece as a template. I add trim marks to the back of the other backgrounds and then I trim them down with the paper trimmer. All of my ink blended strips are the same size now. I use the same process for the bats using the widest bat to determine the width of the strips. So I adhered the strips to the card base leaving equal amounts of space between each strip. You want to see white between the strips but not too much. I left about 1 16th of an inch between the strips and you can use any adhesive to adhere these. So we're ready to go ahead and start adding our die cut pieces at this point. Um, I am going, I know I'm adhering the cats in the center of the card in a straight line, but I need to determine the layout of the bats 
and then adhere them to the card base using Couture Creations black foam strips. These foam strips are 1 8 of an inch wide, making them perfect for small die cut pieces. And it's very sticky, so I'm not too worried about the bats falling off. If you don't have foam strips, you just use whatever you have available. I'm using my big roll of mounting foam to adhere the cats and a T ruler to be sure the cats are aligned perfectly. I'm going to stamp some simple sentiments using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then we're done. Here's the finished cards and the card that inspired me to create this video for you. I used dye ink and heat emboss the sentiment on my first take of this card, but I absolutely love the way they all turned out. So I do believe once again that's a wrap and I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to create something spooktacular today. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel and be sure to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they're published to the public. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.